Okay, today's installment of my vinyl record collection is going to be exclusive to Brian Eno. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm not a completist, and I at some point I stopped buying vinyl and bought mostly CDs, compact discs. And in the case of the Brian Eno collection, not many rarities here, and many of few a number of them are repressing, reprinting later reissues so anyway let's go through they're pretty much pretty close to um, chronological order so we start out with his first solo here come the warm jets and that's a great album many many fans this is on Polydor this is a Polydor pressing Made in West Germany. Sorry about that. Uh, another Here Come the Warm Jets, an island. And this is maybe a better luck. This looks like a US island release. And Frepinito, no pussyfooting on Antilles. Let's see what the label looks like. It's a black. Until he's label. Nothing real exciting there. Evening Star Frippinino in Editions EG release. Let's see, it's the white label, white editions label. And this is certainly a later release, 70s, sometime in the 70s of Taken Tiger Mountain by Strategy, which opens up. And for some no unknown reason at the time I was known, I put, a, I put these protective poly bag zip lock sleeves. And this is a made in England red poly door pressing. Next is discreet music. One editions with the white editions label. An all time favorite, another green world, one island. And this has the printed inner sleeve showing you all their great releases from island with the blue, light blue island label. Here's a cut corner island. Let's see which release this is. Black Island label. Music for films. Editions. With the white editions label. And oh, so as I've mentioned in my other videos, I've put Found, people gave me or I found things like here's an ad for this album that I cut out of or somebody cut out of Trouser Press 1979 I wonder who, where that came from and this might be it's an article about Eno don't remember what it's about Cluster and Eno, and I'm pretty certain this is a first pressing. Looks like a German glossy cover. And somebody decided to put some artwork on the inner. They gave us a special inner sleeve. But it's the Sky Label. Looks like the German release. Pretty nice, pretty good condition. And this came out a few years later, and I believe it's a comp, Cluster Nino on land, Sky. Let's see. The black relativity label. And there's an article in here or an ad. Let's see what it is. Review. Oh, it's um, Brian Eno's DX7 patches. Or whatever. 
and before and after signs I have a corner island this has the black island label and here's a drawing I did back then uh, my rendering of the artwork for the cover I forgotten where that was Eno, Mobius, and Rodelius after the heat on sky let's see what this is it looks like the blue sky label I'll show you blue and white ambient one music for airports with the cool back and this is on when it has the printed inner sleeves of oh, one side with an explanation and white editions label. Ambient 2. Now we're getting into some ambience here. One editions once again. This has no print in her sleeve and it has the white editions label. Nothing exciting there. Fourth World Volume 1 Possible Music with John Hassel. One editions. And this is another white label editions release. Ambient 4 on land. And this is once again an editions release with. See, there's something in here. I guess it came with a little a flyer, an on land flyer, and then the pearl with Harold Bud and Brian Eno. On editions once again with the white editions label, and now some, eh. Not real rarities, but we're getting into much more difficult than the other stuff in the collection. This is from Impossible Record Works uh, Floating in Sequence. And it has, let's see, uh, it's obviously a bootleg. Excitable Record Works says the label. Side one. And it has. I think they live 801 tracks, which I used to have the 801 records, the live in the studio, and I think I gave it to somebody. It wasn't really a thrill with it. And music for palaces, which purports to be the same as the stuff on the um, floating in sequence record, plus some singles like Seven Deadly Fins, later on RF, Lion Sleeps Tonight. But in reality, this is two records, and one of them is a Talking Heads Live record. And one is the, I believe it's the second LP that's, the Eno LP that's listed on the back here. So, anyway, it was quite a find, and we won't cry about having the Talking Heads Live, and we already have this stuff on Floating in Sequence. So, probably a little bit of a rarity. I don't really see this one popping up much. And to round it off, I don't have much on the 7-inch Eno 45, but I do have King's Lead Hat with RAF as the B-side, and the Soil X Sampler with Eno doing Ring of Fire and John Cale doing Shuffle Down the Wood Bridge. And I think this was released as a promo to the... Uh, Wrong Way Up CD for some reason, even though there's no music from that CD on here. Well, goodbye. Thanks for watching again. Hope you enjoyed the Eno record collection.